What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kos, once more. And I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, I know I am. Uh, so recently, uh, this poll was shared <laughs> by uh, Ruin the Man Baby. <laughs> and it just got absolutely ratioed. I voted on it. It was just like... In an official Star Wars poll, 91% of people voted for original trilogy characters over sequel char trilogy characters. Oh, I, b I bet Disney was just like, oh yes, we we want, <laughs> we know that our sequel, our sequel trilogy characters are so popular and that they're going to win. They're going to do it. They're going to win this poll, this online poll. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> they got absolutely ratioed. So let's let's take a look, shall we? In honor of International Day of Friendship, who gets your vote? Four favorite best friends from the galaxy far, far away: Chewie and Han, BB-8 and Poe, Ray and Finn. <laughs> they only got nine percent of the vote combined. <laughs> oh my God, that is that is just hilarious. <laughs> I voted for R2 and 3PO because, you know, of course, uh, the classics. But <laughs> this is just hilarious. I, I, I bet they were really banking on, uh, well, trying to trying to bank on um, their their crappy sequel characters winning. <laughs> It's just hilarious to get see them get ratio. And of course, Ichibaka's already on this. Interesting results. No one cares about the sequel trilogy pairings. And of course, we really wanted to because of Star Wars. But characters were written pretty weak. Exactly. Thank you. Star Wars sucks right now. Fix it. Han and Chewie is, of course... But this group is a very close second. And of course, I'm like, Star Wars Legends forever. Yeah. I recently got into a debate with some guy about, of course, whether or not the EU is canon. And we kind of got into it. And But but it was like we came to an understanding that it was like we're kind of on the same side. Because it was like, eventually, I was just like, I'm, I'm so frustrated that people tend to act now, especially like the EU doesn't exist. Like it was, oh, it was never canon, you know? Like it, it, it just didn't matter. Like it just had no significance. And that's not true. It mattered to a lot of people. That's why it was a best, that's why it, like almost every book was like a bestseller, you know? It was cra it's crazy. And now it's just like people just disrespect the EU and uh, yeah, it's like we carried Star Wars when they weren't making any movies, so. <laughs> a directionless saga. Lucasfilm once ran under the direction of one singular creative story and vision. Kathleen Kennedy is an amazing producer, but she had no unified creative vision or story to tell in Star Wars. It's story by committee. When the hens run the hen house. Precisely. <laughs> I mean, this is one of those few uh, brands which has endured over time. I mean, 30, what, 8, 39 years after the fact that they had this kind of grab and they had this kind of a magnet uh, appeal. I mean, this is the first round for Disney, uh, David. I mean, it's their game to lose, isn't it? I mean, it's, if, they, if they flub, you know, owning the Star Wars franchise from now into eternity, it's going to be their fault. Do you see any, do you see any possible hiccups with, you know, cultural mix with the way they're handling this, uh, this baby now? You know, not at all. At this point, I mean, we're very comfortable with our global ultimate on the film, which is $2 billion. What we're going to be watching very closely is the opening in China, although that's not going to happen until January 9th. <laughs> Keep in mind that, that China was largely a, a closed society back in 1977 when the first Damn, film came out. Bro. So folks in China just aren't as familiar bro. with these characters as we are here in the United States. Oh, my God. And that's God. why Disney wanted to delay that release until January 9th. 
let the U.S. theatrically build as kind of a promotional mechanism leading up to the We all know. We all know how it turned out in China. We all know how it turned out in China, though. Just like. We all know what happened in China, man. Yeah, they got absolutely screwed because no one cared. I think they actually got offended <laughs> by the movie. And you spent a billion dollars making an anonymous Star Wars park no one connects to. While this would have had money falling from the heavens in record numbers. They should teach the blunders of what Disney has done with Lucasfilm in business classes as to what not to do. Thank you. But anyway, this is this is your boy Kroos. I'm just just gloating over this uh this nice looking at this nice ratio and, and just appreciating appreciating it. I'm gloating a little bit. <laughs> but it's just that that's funny to me. No one likes your secret sequel trilogy characters, and this just confirms it. But no, oh, we're all just Russian bots. Watch them say we're all Russian bots. I cannot wait. I can't wait. That's that's exactly what they're going to say. We're all trolls. We're all bots. We're not real people. And uh, this poll was just a fluke. Watch. All right. And this uh, this other one replies, Thank you, Kathleen Kennedy. Thank you, Kathy Kennedy, Kerry Hart, and Ryan Johnson for vandalizing Star Wars with their anti-Trump resistance gender politics. Pro-feminist. SJW garbage and special thanks to all the Russian bots for voting in the poll. <laughs> exactly what I said was gonna happen. <laughs> this person also knows also knows <laughs> that they're gonna probably dismiss us all as Russian bots. This person knows. <laughs> Pretty sure if Anakin and Pod Racing was up there, it would be <laughs> It would beat the new trilogy characters. The sequel trilogy is hot garbage. It is finally settled. Dang, bro. <laughs> is the force still female? <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a blast. This is gonna be a blast in episode episode nine. Once that once that flops too, it's gonna be a blast. All right, it's your boy Coach. I'm signing out for now. Peace.